everyone! I am back with another tutorial video today. This one is to show you guys how I made my little card holders for my Mickey and Minnie series cards. This is the one from 2015. Um, I do have another one that has the 2014 cards and then I have one that has the current 2016 cards in it. But I got some questions on how I made the little boxes, do I have a box for my cards, that kind of thing. So, um, yes, I do. I make these. These, This design actually came from Poodles Papercraft. And she does all kinds of little boxes and, and stuff like that. And she's just fantastic with that stuff. So, um, that's where I got this idea from. This is her design, not mine. And I just make these for my card series. Um, and since I don't really need another one yet, I do mine in pistachio pudding, which is a really old retired color, but it's the same color as my room. So I had stocked up on pistachio pudding cardstock, so um, I can make these boxes forever. It only takes one sheet. So um, one sheet will make one box, and then you can design it however you want. So I'm going to show you how to make the box, and then I'll give you the measurements for the front panel, um, and then you guys can decorate it from there. So I'm just going to use some Watermelon Wonder, which is the, it's one of the um, 2015 through 2017 in colors. So if you really like this color, it will retire in 2017, so get a hold of it and stock up on it. Um, the pattern paper, I'm actually, 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 <laughs> can I say that one more time? I'm going to use a piece of pool party cardstock to just kind of balance this out a little bit more because the DSP I'm using is from Cherry on Top, which was uh, available in our previous catalog. So it's just a little, it's a bunch of birthdays, so if you have this stack, um, you know, use it. If you don't, that's fine too. I just pulled it out. I figured I'd make a little box with a birthday theme. So if I get the oomph to make some birthday cards, I can just throw them in that box and then I'll be good. So that's what I'm using to decorate the front. Um, okay, so let's get started. Now your cardstock is eight and a half by 11, but you're gonna cut off a quarter of an inch to make it eight and a quarter by 11. So, you can hear a plane going over, I think. It's pretty loud. All right, so eight and a quarter by 11. So on your eight and a quarter inch side, you're gonna score at one and three quarters. So one and three quarters, and six and a half. I'm just going over it twice, because the cardstock from Stampin' Up! is pretty thick. So we're going to turn it and on our 11 inch side we're going to score at five and a quarter. Five and a quarter and seven. So that is all of our scoring. We can take the scoreboard and move this out of the way. So I'm going to go ahead and just do my folding on my score lines here. And you can go crazy decorating this or you can keep it really simple. It's all up to whatever you want to do with it. Mine are usually pretty simple. Okay, so you should have a piece that looks like this with all of your score lines. Okay, so now, and I haven't made one of these in a little while, so you got to bear with me as far as trying to remember where to cut. Um, there's basically only four cuts in this, so it's pretty simple. You're going to cut this little tab here, but you're not going to cut it out. So you're going to cut on both sides, and then you're going to cut on both sides up here. So I just go right outside that score mark to get a nice, clean line. And then I am going to take... A little bit of a notch out so it will fold in nice and pretty. So I'm going to cut on this side, and then I'm 
just going to notch this part out. Just a little one. Doesn't have to be a lot. We're going to do the same on this side. Okay. So that's it for our cutting. So now your pieces should look like this, and then this one like this. So the shorter side is the front, and the longer side is the back. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to fold these little tabs in, and we're going to bring up the back, and then you can just kind of cut these little pieces off here. So we're going to bring up the back. And then we will bring back the front so it will fold up just like this. I hope that was on film. I haven't glued anything down yet, so we have time. Um, so this is what it'll look like. So let's just go ahead and I'm going to just put a little bit of ATG tape on my little tabs here just to kind of keep them in place. Okay, so now for the other pieces, I'm actually going to put the score tape on my smaller panel here. And I'm using half inch um, scrappy tape. I don't know why I pulled out the half inch. I think because this panel is a lot wider. Whoops, just peeled off some of the cardstock. Oops. Maybe I should cut that. Instead of tear it. Sometimes I do that. I get so involved in what I'm doing, I just start ripping it. Okay, so here's this one. And we're just going to go ahead and cut this one off. I did tear a little bit of the cardstock. I didn't do that very straight at all. My thumb is not 100% healed, so it's still kind of shaky. It hurts all the time. And I keep taking the brace off, so I'm sure that doesn't help. I can't do anything with it on. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and do this side. We'll just get our score tape on here, or scrappy tape, or red liner tape, or whatever. You want a strong adhesive on this part because you don't want your box to fall apart after you put cards in it. These make really, really cute gifts, too. So you could do like a set of cards, and then you can make a little matching box and give it away. That kind of thing. So there we have all of our score tape. Just go over it with my bone folder and make sure it's stuck down pretty good. So now I'm going to bring my back end up and I'm just going to connect it with um, the ATG tape that I already have on here. So there we go. So just like that. I'm going to give this a good rub on the inside. Okay. So now we're going to bring up our front panel to go towards the back. And I'm only going to do one side at a time here. I don't want to get too ahead of myself and have things stick and then not be able to get them undone. So I'm just going to bring this up, kind of line it up, and just wrap it. Let's see, it's already stuck. <laughs> and just wrap it towards the back. Then I go in with my bone folder and just press that down. Okay, so now we're going to do this side. kind of hold that piece in with my finger so it doesn't stick to it. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with this one. I'm just going to wrap this piece towards the back, stick it down, 
go in and put some pressure in there so you know that it sticks. So here we have the basic part of our box. It's going to stand just like this. But just like Poodles did, to make it more decorative and have a prettier look, more of a finished look, all she did was take a long pair of scissors and go from end to end and just slice that off. So there you go. And then do the same on this side. And you just go from one end to the next. That's why it's easier to use a longer pair of scissors. You can get it done in one little swoop. So there's that. Now to decorate the front, um, I was going to do this, but I got, see, I got ahead of myself. And I was going to do it before I um, started putting the box together. But you can certainly decorate this panel before you put the box together, because sometimes it's a lot easier. But um, I'm just going to go ahead and put these together and stick them on there. So the mat, the pool party mat that I'm using, is cut at four and five eighths by three and seven eighths. So it's four and five eighths this way and three and seven eighths this way. And my DSP is cut at four and a half by three and three quarters. So I'm just gonna layer these. And before I stick it down, I'm going to see if I like it. So this will just go right on the front like that, and then I can do some decorating. So I do like that. And since I didn't do it when my box was not put together, I'm going to stick it on and then I will rub it from the inside with my bone folder. So no big deal. So I'm just going to try to center this on the front. Like I said, this would be so much easier if you did it when the box was not done. But hey, you know. Then I'm just going to take my bone folder and I'm going to go inside and just rub the front panel there. And there we have it. Super, super easy. Um, I did modify this box one time for my mom because I had such, I had a larger set of cards for her that had more bulk on the front of them so I needed to make it wider. Um, so I do have a revised version of this that I came up with that you will need a 12 by 12 sheet of paper for. So I will do that in a future video if you guys want to see a slightly wider box. It's not bigger, it's the same size um, it's just deeper. So there you have it. There is the little card holders from Poodles. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are able to follow along and make these. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!